at his feet. Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Revelation chapter 4, verses 9 through 11. When those beasts gave, give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Dr. Paul Chappell wrote this about Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria became the ruler of the British Empire while she was still a teenager and reigned from 1837 until her death in 1901. Not long after her death, a story appeared in a London newspaper that highlighted her faith in Christ. At the conclusion of a sermon, she approached the speaker and said, Oh, how I wish that the Lord might come during my lifetime. When he asked her what her desire was based on, she replied, I should like to lay my crown at his feet. The world around us honors those who accomplish great things, accumulate great wealth, or attain great power. But all that we can do pales in comparison to the majesty and glory of Jesus Christ. And when we see him, all that we have done, any glory we have won, will simply be a trophy that can be presented to him for his glory rather than our own. The struggle of mankind against pride is as old as all of humanity. Yet if we see Jesus as he really is high and lifted up, we will realize how foolish that pride is. Well, he's spot on there. Uh, there. There's nothing that you and I can do to add to salvation. There's nothing that you and I can do to earn salvation. Salvation is a gift full and free from God. It's not based on human merit because if it was, we couldn't earn it. There's no, there's no accumulation or a, a, a compilation of human works that could earn right standing with God. And yet he grants it to us through his grace and mercy because of Jesus Christ's work on the cross. And when, when I think about what Jesus did for me, and when I think about the, the chiefest of sinners that I am, it, it makes my mind explode. I mean, it, uh, we're so unworthy. Even at our very best, we're nothing. And even the very best that we ultimately have will cast at the foot of, of, of the throne of God, will cast our crowns around at his feet. So I just hope you'll thank God today for the, the grace that he gives us and, and that we'll just live in, in thankfulness for how good God has been to us in spite of us, not because of us. Dear Lord God, I thank you that you look down on mankind that's been shattered by sin and somehow you begin to enter into our lives and start a process of transformation, God. And we don't deserve it. We didn't earn it, God. We don't have anything to bring to the table, but we come just so thankful for your goodness to us. I pray that you just help us to live each day in, in just a sense of a humble adoration to you and just thanking you and anxiously awaiting that time that we'll be in your presence away from, the, away from sin, away from the temptations of this old planet. Help us, God, to live in victory until then. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.